Okay guys, week two, intermittent fasting and macro tracking 101. Macro tracking is for those of us who are a little more meticulous about our food. You may feel you want to be in control of what you intake. You may also be interested in how your body will change and adapt through a calorie and macro tracking habitual route. This is also another great way to learn about yourself and your body's full potential. How does it work? Macro tracking is more definite in how it works as it purely relies on the individual noting everything they eat and logging their intake. This is more of a performance-based plan that is stricter on the individual and requires them to be on point with their nutrition. The rules, if you haven't done already, you will need to revisit page 14 on week one and figure out what your BMR is. Once you have done that, you can then multiply that number, which is your baseline calories, with your daily activity. So you multiply your BMR with your activity with your activity level, which gives you your overall calories. To find the number of calories you need to hit per day, you will then need to add these into either a manual or electronic food diary, and we recommend MyFitnessPal, and stick within your calories each day to stick within a percentage of macros to achieve great results. We recommend that your carbohydrates are up to 40 to 45%, protein is between 35 and 40%, and your fats are between 20 and 25%. So just to so guys, just as a side note, macro tracking is a little bit more specific. It requires you to be on point with your macros um, and also your calorie intake. So your basal metabolic rate times your activity level will give you your overall calories. And then from there, you want to be able to fit in your macros to those calories. So we have recommended uh, 40 to 45% for carbs, 35 to 40% for protein, and 20 to 25% for fats. And you don't have to be bang on with those numbers, guys. In fact, actually, as long as you're hitting within your calories, and you're trying to consume a little bit more protein per day, you'll start to be making a fantastic result uh, from your macro tracking. Next, you will need to drop 50 calories from the overall daily intake of calories every day for the next six weeks. So that's 50 calories you need to drop off from your MyFitnessPal or your notes. If you're taking notes, you need to reduce your calorie intake by 50 calories every single week for the next six weeks. Why 50 calories? Well, you may find that that number is too great. However, if you don't drop enough calories away, you won't lose any weight. And if you drop too many calories away, your body will think that it's starving and so it will start to eat muscle tissue, which is what we call uh, becoming catabolic. So you don't want to become catabolic. You don't want your body to start eating away its, its precious muscle tissue. You want it to eat uh, body fat. So the reason that we say 50 calories is because it's generally a safe number to be dropping every single week if you are macro tracking.